Hi, and welcome to Facts and Blog and Podcast. We have a very exciting Black Friday uh, deal going on. We have some custom builder sets um, that we're going to have, as well as a uh, discount coupon for 224 Valkyrie yep. barrels. Um, so you can get uh, 30% off 224 Valkyrie barrels. Uh, this week's installment of Jay's World of Eats uh, is brought to you by our friends at Condition One Cases. Nice. Um, we're going to be giving away this uh, this hard-sided, I guess it would be a pistol case, but it's pretty yeah. big, as you could tell from the size of my head, which is quite large. Oh, quite large. Uh, all right. So you got so, some candy from uh, Arizona. All right. We have some... Uh, Oh, cameras right there. Yeah, you there. took away my uh, my I'm product tra- close up camera, Dustin. You know, we had this discussion three weeks ago. You know, this was like a big revolution. Jay can show close ups. No Point camera. To that camera right there. <laughs> Point to that camera. So the game today is I'm going to uh, tell Pat the name of the gun as it appears in Warzone. And then he's going to do his best to tell me uh, what it's actually based on. How about, let's go to some handguns. Uh, What about the 50GS? Ooh, that's a classic Desert Eagle 50. You got that Deagle. Deagle, Deagle. I think it goes without saying that uh, pretty much every gun owner has their favorite tools, their favorite things that they like to keep in their range bag or at their workbench. Uh, and it's no secret for us that the Wheeler Fat Wrench is one of those. We have several of these up in our assembly area with our armory technicians. And it's because it's a simple, great device uh, that can be used in multiple applications. It's an adjustable torque wrench in a screwdriver type fashion with a series of bits that'll help you with everything from rifle takedown to scope mounting and everything in between. Fantastic tool. Uh, so if you haven't checked these out, you could go to wheelertools.com and they're available in a ton of places, including amazon.com. But make sure you check it out, especially if you're looking for that one missing piece for your workbench or you want to give it to a uh, new gun owner to help set up their range bag. Definitely a great choice. Again, check out our friends at wheelertools.com and take a look at the fat wrench. Hi, and welcome to episode 43 of the Facts and Blog and Podcast, a very special Black Friday edition today. We have our director of sales, Pat Murphy, on the show. He's going to be talking to us about the special deals we have going on for Black Friday. So make sure you check those out at factsandfirearms.com. And Pat's going to give you the full overview on the show today. Also, he'll be sticking around for a special game show segment. Uh, we're going to be quizzing his knowledge on Call of Duty guns and the real guns that those are based on. So make sure you check that out at the bottom of the show and right in the middle jay is back for jay's world of eats and we have a great condition one cases giveaway going along with it as well uh, to get entered into that make sure you go to factsandfirearms.com slash blog and click on episode 43 but we want to get right to it today so you could hear about these black friday deals and uh, before we do we're just going to hear from our friends of the podcast and we'll turn it over to our conversation with pat So you've heard it a million times before on tons of different forums and blogs and safety tips and tutorials that a clean gun is a safe gun. And uh, that's one of the reasons why we think you should look into our friends over at Tipton. Now you'll see some of their stuff popping up in our podcast in the coming weeks because we're going to be doing some cleaning episodes. How do you clean a pistol? How do you clean an AR? What are the types of things that you need to safety check on those items? And you'll see a lot of Tipton products coming up in those episodes as well. What I have with me right now is their uh, Tipton gun cleaning kit for pistols. This has really everything you need to get started with keeping up with your pistol, whether it's your EDC or your range gun or your competition gun. Uh, It really is an easy to store, take with you, throw in your bag and making sure that you are keeping up with all of the needs of your firearm. So obviously everything down from patches and brushes and rods, it's all right here ready to go. But Tipton has tons of other stuff, including vices, solvents, and all the things you need to keep your guns safe. So make sure you check out our friends Tipton and check them out on the podcast as well. Well, welcome to a very special Black Friday edition uh, main segment of the Facts and Blogging Podcast. Here with me today is Pat Murphy, our Director of Sales, returning to the show. You may have seen uh, Pat a couple of weeks ago out to bow hunting. We had some yes. yeah, and chasing some deers. Didn't get anything. 
Well, I was there. He was there and the deer were with him in spirit. So, uh, but we have a very exciting Black Friday uh, deal going on. We have some custom builder sets um, that we're gonna have, as well as a uh, discount coupon for 224 Valkyrie yep. barrels. Um, so you can get uh, 30% off 224 Valkyrie barrels at factsandfirearms.com using the coupon code BF2020, which stands for boyfriend. Not Black Friday. Um, so, but Pat, let's talk about these builder sets. Um, we have black multicam for Black Friday. Yes. And then we're going to have some OD Greens uh, limited space. So just the handguards here to show that to you. But uh, uh, what can you tell us about uh, these these black multicam sets? Yeah. So we're going to be doing four different configurations. Um, some rifle length, some pistol length. Um, on the multicam, you can see basically how they will ship. Um, we're doing upper, lower, and a handguard. Um, there will be two different variations of handguard length. One will be the 15 inch, and then the other will be nine inch. Um, the handguards will come with everything to install them. The receivers are gonna be our enhanced upper and lower receivers. So on the lowers, you'll still get your tensioning screw and, and, and some of the other features that come on our complete rifle lineup. Mm -hmm. um, on the lowers, we also did a little bit of extra milling um, just to do some some aesthetics to it. Yeah, you just know, to get, add some texture. Yeah, just to, just to switch it up a little bit. They're Ford's receiver set, so nothing, um, no billet, no any other material. It's all, they're all for, standard Ford's receivers. Um, and then on the handguard, you've got the normal features of our, our handguard lineup. So you've got your QD sling swivels, M-lock on three, six, nine o'clock. Um, you've got your torque plate that comes with these. So um, it's a common issue on some of the clamping style handguards that you can over torque them, they tilt, and then they're ruined. Right. So we have a special torque plate that comes with it that prevents over tightening. Um, and that's going to be common across whether you're doing the 15 or the 9 inch and won't matter what finish. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to have pretty limited availability on these. So, uh, you'll definitely want to hop on the site and get them yeah. as quickly as possible. <clears throat> yeah, if you're hearing this or uh, watching this, press pause and uh, go <laughs> go hop over to the website to check that out. And uh, our friend Tom from One Off Coating in Dayton, just north of us here in Cincinnati, uh, who does a lot of our Cerakote and laser work, did these for us. Uh, special thanks to Tom turning yeah. these around pretty quick for us so we could get them up and going <laughs> for Black Friday. And uh, <clears throat> little details, I think, really make these things. And, you know, he even did the dust cover. So if you get a uh, um, black multicam or an OD green, uh, you're also going to get the uh, coated dust cover as well. So you're not just slapping on a plain plain black dust cover on a, on a Cerakoted uh, builder set. But the thing, like you mentioned, with the exception of the extra milling that we did here, you know, all the features you just talked about, they're on our complete mm -hmm. rifles. So if you've bought something from the first line ARs or the summit line ARs, or you're looking to get one in the future, that's the sort of stuff that's on them. Or even our standalone, when you buy the hand guards, yeah. you know, that torque plate and everything you're talking about yeah. uh, is, is part of that. Yeah, it'll be a uh, nice chance. I know our customers have been beating down our door trying to get some of our complete rifle line and, you know, the way the market's been this year. Yeah. Of, you know, we've we've only really been able to get them out to dealers, mm -hmm. um, so we haven't had much on our site to be able to purchase. So if someone's been looking at that, they have an opportunity to buy, you know, kind of the frame right. um, of your rifle build and upper lower handguard is already <coughs> done for you. We are shipping more product than ever. So while somebody may not be able to get it from our site, all of our dealers are carrying products. You know, they get it's intermittent availability, but yeah. we are still, still shipping stuff to dealers every day. Yeah. So, you know, this is a great foundation for somebody's new build that may have really wanted one of our rifles, but hasn't had a chance to snatch one up. Yeah, for sure. And uh, just to reiterate, and I mean, Pat, I know the last time you were on the show, we talked about this, but just like you alluded to, you know, we're in full production mm -hmm. right now. There's the shop floors just to the left of us here. They're yeah. running hot and heavy. You know, shipments are going out every day to dealers. So uh, if you're just looking at our website, obviously we appreciate the the patronage and we love that you shop backsandfirearms.com. But don't forget to check out all of our dealers as well as if there's a particular barrel you're looking for or a bulk carrier group of ours that you're looking for. Uh, if you can't find it on our site, make sure you check out our dealers' uh, websites and shops 
as well to to get your get your projects going. Yeah, and um, on the different builder sets, we're going to be looking to do some more of these in the future. But these would make a great foundation for you know wife, husband, boyfriend, anybody who you you have in your life that's interested in building. Yes, um, you know that has been eyeballing either their first AR or wanting to do another build and they've had a tough time getting parts. This is a chance to get some of them. Um, they're very competitively priced. Even, you know, the OD sets you're looking at on the pistol length setup, it's like three ninety nine dollars mm-hmm. is retail. If you're military and law enforcement, our guardian purchase program still applies to these. So you'll save an extra 10%. Yes. Um, but, you know, three ninety nine dollars for an upper lower handguard that's all been Cerakoted it'd be pretty tough to go out and source those and have them Cerakoted your, your, on your own and be under that price point. Right. So three ninety nine for the three ninety nine to four twenty five on the OD sets, mm-hmm. four ninety nine to five twenty five on the multicam. Um, you can obviously tell by looking at the the multicam black that it's a much more complex coating. So there's just yeah a little bit more cost to it. Yeah, absolutely. And and uh, it, it was funny, you know, Tom messaged me yesterday. He's like, hey, you mind if I post a video of me, you know, coding these mm. to tease it. I said, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so people commented, they're like, why is it yellow? That's dumb. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, those are stencils. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah every little texture you see yeah. on these is, exists because Tom sat there and was putting stencil stickers and that's all done by hand and it can be a little tedious. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if you haven't uh, checked it out, you could actually go back uh, earlier in the show archives uh, with our full show when we were debuting the Mustang Limited Edition with Tom talking about the entire process of uh, doing a, a custom Cerakote job um, as well because we send these out to him. He blasts them down. He gets the base layer on that mm-hmm. has to cook. You get the stencils on for the next layer and that has to paint and cook. So it's, uh, it's quite the prog- project. And that's why you get, uh, that's why you get, you know, a, a really nice custom turnout, nice sharp edges. Uh, that's, that's something that sometimes you see people, you know, post stuff like, Hey, I got this custom thing and it's all like, mm. You know, it's blurry. It's not. It's not clean. Yeah. It's not sharp. And that's one of the things we love about one off is they're very, very detail oriented. Yeah, and maybe you know, maybe we can get a close up of it or something. But uh, these builder sets will be one of the last opportunities outside of other maybe future limited edition stuff where customers will be able to buy the lower with the shield and the waving flag logo in the background. That's right. You know, so we've tweaked up what the the look of our lowers are. So these uh these sets are going to be some of the the last few ones so yeah, some last regularly available yeah. if you like the the shield yeah flag. so if someone really likes the look of that i'd really hop on this yeah very good and then just to highlight real quick uh and i'll show a picture the 224 barrels the mm-hmm. 224 valkyrie barrels uh we have those in i believe 20 22 and 24 yep. uh on the website right now um so you can shop those and get 30 percent off those I believe are all heavy fluted. Um, uh, we have one gunner profile, one gunner. so we have two two different offerings in twenty inch, um, a gunner profile and a heavy fluted, and then the twenty two and twenty four inch are both heavy fluted. Gotcha. And Everything's all, part of the match series yes. as well, so it's all five R rifling, stainless steel material that's been nitrided. Um, and then you have the nickel Teflon coated extensions on all of those. Yeah. So, uh, a great deal for match series mm-hmm. barrels. Cause I mean, some, some of those boutique, uh, you know, calibers could yeah. sometimes, you know, whether it's us or uh, a competitor or a peer in the market, they can be all over the place in pricing. So to be able to get all those features for 30% off and especially in the gun run that we're in mm-hmm. right now, I think, uh, I think there's still some good deals. Don't forget if you're also looking for random stocking stuffer type stuff for uh, for your loved one for Christmas, you know we got the mystery patch packs out right now. We have magazine marker bands, which we talked about earlier yeah. with Jay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you've seen little red marker bands in Call of Duty Warzone, you know, give us a call. <laughs> uh, anyway, so make sure uh, you check those types of things out. Of course, you know hoodies and hats and sweaters and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so definitely uh, still some product, even in the midst of uh, all the whole gun run pandemic. The rest yeah. assured the floor is running. And, running and all of the the gear type stuff right. um, isn't subject to the same inventory issues that, you know, hard goods are. So, right. you know, shirts, hoodies, hats, 
things that are showing in stock on the site, um, those will be able to ship, you know, right now, probably within a week or so. Yeah. Um, so there, there isn't the availability problem. So we've got some funny sweat sweaters. Yeah, and stuff we got like that. Uh, the, the ugly Christmas sweaters out this year. So anyway, and uh, we're hoping to have some more fun stuff for you coming up right before Christmas as well. But if you want to get on these builder sets, especially getting, uh, like Pat said, uh, this type of uh, black multicam finish, the uh, shield and flag lower engraving, uh, this this will be one of your last chances to get it. So make sure you go to PaxonFirearms.com and shop All Black Friday for all those uh, limited pieces and to make use of that BF2020 uh, 224 Valkyrie Barrel coupon code. So Pat, thanks, thanks for joining us and uh, you're going to stick around I'll for a little game show. Game. All right, sounds good. We'll see you later. I think their product headline says it best, ring steel, not your ears. If you haven't checked out uh, episode 27 of the Facts and Blog and Podcast, we actually spoke uh, to Jared from Caldwell Shooting about some of their uh, extensive line of hearing protection and accessories. One of the things that they sent out to us was a set of their Emac Shadows. And the nice thing about the Emac Shadows is not only are they excellent ear protection for the range or for training, or even when you're just mowing your lawn or working with power tools, uh, but they also are a Bluetooth headset. So if you're into earbuds and power beats and AirPods and all that kind of thing, you can still get great stereo sound, dual microphones and device control all right here from the shadows. And again, when you use those foam tips, uh, you also get a 25 dB noise reduction rating as well. So if you're out on the range all day, you're working on a project in the garage, you wanna to listen to music, you still need to take calls, that sort of thing, no need to be taken on and off the giant muffs. You could just have a pair of shadows in, and you can find these over at caldwellshooting.com. And don't forget to check out our whole episode about hearing protection with Caldwell at factsandfirearms.com slash blog. Well, welcome into another installment of Jay's World of Eats. Uh, Jay, you've been absent the last two weeks. I'm back. He's back, baby. I've returned. But he's heavily featured on the Thanksgiving special that aired this week. Yeah, uh, yeah. you had some real sub subpar guests uh, <laughs> as Jay replacements over the past couple of weeks. Well, Eddie, that's godforsaken <laughs> chip. I mean, you saw oh, that. Yeah. That was awful. Yeah, Evan, uh, Evan's terrible. But Britt was on. And, uh, yeah, I we guess teased, okay. Yeah, we teased the chess pie segment. So yeah. if you haven't checked it out yet, uh, you want to check out the Thanksgiving special just Go to faxandfirearms.com slash blog, click on Thanksgiving, and uh, the recipes are there, the oh, videos yeah. are there, tutorial stuff, some fun pictures from uh, the matriarch of the Faxon family, uh, Betty Faxon. Delicious Faxen, food, yeah. The, who uh, supplied some of those recipes. And uh, again, just want to say thanks to Meat and Camp Chef yeah. and Dave's Quality Meats in Westchester for helping us out with the special. That was uh, a lot I of fun. I actually uh, went up to Dave's uh, yesterday and picked up... Uh, two more turkeys for my uh family thanksgiving i was so impressed with the uh yeah the turkey that we got for uh the video from him so. yeah that turkey was amazing yeah oh, like yeah. that's we're not just talking because we made a video of it like we yeah, ate that. It, was, it was pretty amazing because we made yeah. a video oh, yeah, of it, but, yeah. Yeah. but the, it was really stinking yeah, good so it's really friday good now turkey. you're probably just dining on leftovers but uh yum you know um yeah, make sure you go back and check that out because you could use those recipes for your next holiday gathering, uh, Christmas or what have you. So yeah, uh, check those out. Uh, this week's installment of Jay's World of Eats uh, is brought to you by our friends at Condition One Cases. Nice. Um, we're going to be giving away this uh, this hard sided. I guess it would be a pistol case, but it's pretty yeah. big, as you could tell from the size of my head, which is quite large. Well, quite large uh, in comparison to the case. Gigantic. Case. And uh, we love Condition One. Uh, they do. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they do a lot of our, a lot of our cases. Uh, if you've ever bought an FX nineteen, that's a in condition one case, and they've been a part of giveaways and stuff with us before. Yeah, they worked really, really hard with us on the uh, on the FX nineteen case design. Uh, 
Jeffrey Joffrey uh, spent a lot of time uh, doing revisions on it back and forth with with us when we were coming out with that. So, you know, yeah, they're great guys. Yeah. So show them some love. You could uh, enter to win on that. Uh, All you got to do is go to factsandfirearms.com slash blog and click on episode 43 uh, and uh, you can find all the ways to enter. And we are almost to the end of the sportsman giveaway, the sportsman hunting giveaway. Yeah. Uh, So if you want to get that custom. 350 legend rifle uh and the thompson center muzzle loader stuff from bison crimson trace hornady uh scent lock all that kind of jazz make sure you go and enter that'll pop up right at factsandfirearms.com as soon as you get there so make sure you enter for that as well yeah so yeah J- definitely so jay since you uh have been uh absent what, yeah. do, what do you what do you got for us this week have you well, been saving up something good well dustin the first treat i have mm-hmm Brought back from my vacation here, which I... Oh, that's right. You went to Arizona. Yeah, I was gone for a week uh, to Arizona. Just got back. Um, Drove around the desert. Saw a bunch of cactuses. uh, You know, wildlife. Yeah. It was nice. It was uh, 88 one day and 91 the next (sighs) down in Tucson. Uh, Yeah. So that was great. I saw a picture that uh, your wife posted of a roadrunner. That yeah. was pretty cool. Yeah, we saw a roadrunner. Uh, their tails really, uh, really do uh, go down when they take off running. Yeah. Uh, saw a coyote. Uh, did it have an anvil with it? Uh, it did have an anvil. <laughs> uh, some Acme TNT. <laughs> yes. Uh, saw some quails. Um, they uh, look like uh, fat bowling ball uh, pigeons. Yes. Look very tasty. Uh, <laughs> I would love to catch some quails in a... Uh, Roast them. Uh, <laughs> okay. They look very delicious. Uh, well, I, if you would have given me five states and said, which, where does the quail live? Arizona, I would have never guessed Arizona. I didn't think quails were, uh, I don't know of any wildlife in Arizona. Yeah, you know, uh, I think mainly scorpions and rattlesnakes yeah. live there. Uh, yeah, I think that sort of stuff, not yeah. quails. <laughs> we didn't see any scorpions or rattlesnakes. Um, Probably for the best. For the best, uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely for the best. If there's anything I've learned from Animal Crossing, it's that uh, if you spot a scorpion, it will charge at you and sting you and... Lead to your demise. You're done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's bad times. Yeah, so, you know. All right, so you got so, some candy from uh, Arizona? Right, we have some... Uh, oh. Cameras right there. Yeah, you there. took away my, uh, my product t- close-up camera, Dustin. You know, we had this discussion three weeks ago. You know, this was like... Like big revolution, Jay can show close-ups. No Point camera. to that camera right there. <laughs> Point to that camera right there. Hold and release. Okay, okay. Yeah, good. some prickly pear cactus candy. Uh, dethorned. Uh, good. Despiked. Despiked. Yeah. Is there an option for it to be? Uh, I think there was an option for spikes in it. Are you serious? <laughs> no. Oh, I don't know. You bring me crazy <laughs> stuff. Can't even that be? That'd be terrible. I don't know. I ate this, some crazy chip the other day, and he brought <laughs> yeah, in those right. bamboozled beans that taste like vomit or whatever. I don't know if these guys are gonna be any good, so we're gonna cut one in half here, Dustin. Oh, so you actually haven't even tried this yet? I haven't tried it yet, so <laughs> I'm a little. <laughs> I don't know what prickly pears taste <laughs> like. A prickly pear. Oh, oh, it's got a. Uh, Crust on it does. <laughs> That's always good, right? Yeah. Right. Always <laughs> bright red, very natural looking. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty good. Hmm. It's a candy this reminds me of. What are those like gummy things? Like old timey candy stores that are crusted in sugar, but they look like fruit. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. The yes, yeah, just things. like those orange slices or the fruit slices. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's very good. There's a weird sort of like red wine flavor to it. Mm-hmm. From cherry or cherries, desert harvest. Mm, yeah, cherries never desert harvest. Mm. Very good. Pure cane sugar, organic prickly pear cactus. 
corn syrup. Listen, if I'm going to have prickly pear cactus, it better be it organic. better be organic. Uh, corn syrup, citrus pectin, citric acid, natural citrus extract, and sodium citrate. Hmm. 40 calories per piece. So there you go. It does fit. It, it is good. It's like those fruit slices. It really is. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. That was a good one. That's good. We'll tag you, Sherry. Cherry? Mm-hmm. Sherry? Mm-hmm. Sherry? My Sherry, Sherry Amor? Something. Okay. All right. Great. What's next? Snack number two from a different voyage, Dustin. Uh-huh. Ooh, close up here. Yeah. Tokyo Banana? This is Tokyo Banana. This is a snack exclusive to Japan. You can't buy them here. I mean, you can buy them on eBay, but you can't even buy them on Amazon here. This is a... Uh, Japan's real weird. They have lots of um, lots of snacks and other products that are like exclusive Japan sales products. You know, they don't distribute outside, so you have to actually go there and get. Yeah. So uh, Tokyo Banana is sort of like Japanese Twinkie, right? So oh. it's um, sort of like puffy sponge cake with um. It's got like a custard banana filling. This is the honey flavor. Uh, you can see it's got a little bear uh, on the Twinkie. Uh, Very nice. So that is something I've noticed. All, the, all these Asian foods you bring in, especially the Japanese <laughs> stuff, they really do it up with all like the logo, cartoon. Oh, all yeah. Like it is just everywhere. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Tokyo banana. <laughs> so... Smells nice and banana y. I don't know if you can smell that over there, but uh, yeah, so it's got like a uh, you know, little honey banana custard filling. Mm-hmm. I think there might be some walnut in there. You've had these before? Mm hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, right? I like that. You know, we have a game show coming up with Pat today. Mm hmm. And so for that, I will give it the the crowd cheer. Ooh, uh, nice! Uh, I'm yeah. plugged in right now because Pat's not here. <laughs> we'll give it. We'll give it the crowd cheer. We are playing a little game called. Um, well, you know, we did the the pro wrestler or obscure gun with right. Ryan Brown, which is a lot of fun. Which, of course, he knew all of the wrestlers. Right. So by process of elimination, <laughs> he was able to figure out the guns. <laughs> and then, by process of elimination. <laughs> and then. Uh, uh, Pat, like he's a uh, Pat loves himself some modern warfare. He loves his Xbox. Yes, he does. <laughs> and so I was like, you think you could do a game of like the the gun in the game versus what it's based off of? And mm. uh, he 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 said he's up to the challenge. So nice. that's that's what we're gonna do. But there's a lot on there. Oh yeah, a ton. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't know who makes the decisions on the names. Because some of them, they just kept the name basically, or they would take like one part of the name off and like leave the name on. Yeah. It was weird. Ask Pat about the, uh, the mag marker bands on, uh, I think it was, uh, one of those Call of Duty games. He spotted, uh, he spotted some facts he, he magazine spotted marker bands. some magazine marker bands, uh, in game and showed us all. So, uh, we were all pretty impressed about it. All right, I'll see if I can find a screen grab of that and yeah. throw it up. Yeah. That is something like, <laughs> out of all the random things, out of all the random things, like that is a product of ours that still amazes me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it serves a purpose for sure. And we Super like that we're useful. able to do it. It's crazy useful. Yeah. Uh, even just for like our, our plain ones, uh, you know, we have the fill-in bands. Yeah. The the ones, some people just will use them, yeah, for marking caliber. To other people are like, this is mine. <laughs> you know, right. like, just like, right, it's like the, the tag on your lunchbox, yeah. you know. It's uh, they're they're funny, but we do see uh, we do see people reselling them places, which always <laughs> gives me a good yeah, chuckle yeah, to yeah. see the market. Gotta love it. Whatever. We got. I think we just got more in stock this week. Yeah. So if you're uh, if you want some magazine marker bands, perfect stocking stuffer. Oh yeah. We have those yeah, in the excellent. in the mystery patch packs out right now. Mystery patch pack. Very exciting. Oh, yeah. Very exciting. Patches got- that were meant for trade shows that never happened. Yeah, exactly. This is this is like, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah, some people don't know this. All right. <laughs> Little insider firearms, whatever. When you go to trade shows, the patches 
are like this huge deal. Oh yeah, it's a serious game with with a lot of people. Is yeah, is they get running so around, it. collecting patches, trading patches, you yes. know, trying to trying to get all the limited edition ones because every single show, you know, a lot of companies will put out a limited edition patch, you know? Right. So did you get the 2017, you know, NRA national meeting, right. you know, whatever patch. Yeah. And so like some of them, like, you know, we'll do, we have our standard ones, kind of like our standard branded ones and ones that will send with certain product. Right. But then we have ones that we've made for trade shows and we had one big batch this year and NRA was canceled. We're like, yeah. Oh, so we had all those. And then, you know, getting ready, we ordered some more, like, ahead of, you know, planning for SHOT Show. Okay, well, now SHOT Show's <laughs> happening. Yeah. And so these are just things that, like, we normally give out uh, at trade shows. And since we can't really go anywhere or do anything, we figure, why not? Make yeah. a little mystery. We're also throwing some stickers in there. Mm. Uh, nice. Uh, Brian Brunner, our shipping manager, <laughs> maybe Zach, asked if we could just send them a, send one person an empty bag, and that's the mystery <laughs> and that they have to call customer service. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you take the mail on that one. Uh, we'll, we'll yeah, do that. Right. Customer service, love that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they'd be thrilled. So, yeah, yeah if you're looking for some stocking stuffers, Check out some magazine market bands, mm-hmm. some mystery patch packs. Yeah. Uh, and uh, as uh, detailed, uh, even though we're recording this ahead of time, uh, before we record with Pat, but we are having our little uh, multi-cam Black Friday preview mm-hmm. uh, this week. So yeah. we're really excited about that. So if you're watching this, uh, make sure you're headed over to factsandfirearms.com and uh, checking out what we have special for Black Friday, because I, I really don't think they're going to last long. I mean, yeah. in this in the climate that we're in with firearm sales uh, yeah. uh, and the, the, you know, what we're doing with uh, one-off coding uh, for it for a little special Black Friday extravaganza. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they're going to last long. So if you're listening to this, hit pause and hop on over uh, mm. to the website. Don't forget, if you want to enter to win the Condition 1 hard-sided case, all you have to do is go to factsandfirearms.com slash blog and click on episode 43 for all the ways to enter. And while you're there, make sure you enter in the last couple of days of the Sportsman giveaway to get that uh, custom 350 Legend rifle, as well as the Thompson Center muzzle loader, all the stuff from Hornady, Crimson Trace, Schrade, Scent Lock, Bison Coolers, it's amazing. It's a it's huge like, giveaway. Yeah, it's it like really fif- is. 15 <laughs> sponsors all kicking stuff in. Yeah. Rocky Boots. I mean, it's it's Hueyman is on there. Yeah. First time having Hueyman on with us. Uh, got a sweet hatchet. Nice. Which is always dope. Who doesn't need a hatchet? I know. I need a hatchet. Jay needs a hatchet. Yeah. I need to cut some stuff down in the front yard. <laughs> A neighbor's backyard. I mean, <laughs> sometimes I take a machete to that. I find it very, uh, yeah, very pleasing to do. Yeah, very, very pleasing for sure. <laughs> All right, well, make sure you check those things out. Happy Black Friday. We hope your shopping is going well. Stick around for our next segment, a little game show action with our director of sales, Pat Murphy. Nice. You know, it's no secret that the things that you keep in your gun safe are important. They're valuable. They're things that you want, you need, you need to hold on to, whether it's just your firearms and supplies, or I know a lot of people like to use their gun safes to hold things like tax returns and other important documents, family photos. All of those things are incredibly important. And to help keep better track of it and better maintenance on those items, Lockdown has a series of devices and utilities and tools to help keep those things things that you treasure safe. One of my personal favorites that we actually use here in the office quite a bit uh, around our storage for cameras and lighting and things like that is just one of their dehumidifiers. Now they have lots of other stuff. You may have already heard of the golden rod. You've heard a lot of stuff about the lockdown puck, uh, which is a smart device to help keep your gun drawer, your safe, your tools, even your wine cellar safe uh, and checking up on the humidity and the atmosphere in those places as well. We did a great episode with lockdown several weeks back that you could check out at factsandfirearms.com slash blog, where we go through pretty much their entire product line and everything from the lockdown puck to dehumidifiers to even things like, you know, storage, rack shelving, things of that variety, keeping your safe, keeping your gun room clean, organized and protected. And you can even get something like this, one of their room or gun safe dehumidifiers. 
If you're looking to organize that space in your home, again, whether it's for your gun safe or just anything that you hold valuable, we'd recommend you go to lockdown.com. Well, welcome him uh, being Black Friday and uh, having Pat on the show. We thought it'd be fun to bring back a game show segment. So uh, a few weeks ago, we had Ryan Brunn, our shipping manager, on to talk about uh, or to do the game show, of visit an obscure gun or an obscure wrestler. Yeah. And the thing I wasn't counting on was that... Uh, he knows a lot of wrestlers. And so <laughs> via process of elimination, he was able to figure out which ones the guns were. But uh, so I felt the opposite. Like yeah. I knew the guns, but I didn't know the wrestlers. Yeah. So I knew like puckle guns, a puckle is a gun. Right. And that is not. It's not a wrestler. It's not a wrestler. Although it would, it could be a wrestler and it yeah. wouldn't surprise me. So anyway, uh, but Pat, you like Warzone. You like I Xbox enjoy, gaming? Yeah, a little free time, play some Warzone. Yeah, a little Warzone. Uh, and, you know, how, how long have you been doing Call of Duty games and stuff like that? Like, have you been a uh, big first-person shooter I mean, guy? Yeah, that's I played those, like, over the years, like, in college, going to, like, the Black Ops 2 midnight release. Yeah. But uh, I fell off uh, most games for, like, probably seven, eight years. But yeah recently kind of got a little bit back into it and yeah. been playing Warzone. Warzone I think came out at the beginning of like quarantine or like early oh, yeah, like yeah, maybe close. slightly before. So it was it's been a been a nice deep yeah. dive for the oh, folks yeah. over yeah. the Call of Duty. The, and you know when I had Jay on we recorded his segment yesterday. He was the one who brought to my attention that you were the one who was playing and saw red magazine marker bands on yeah. 300 blackout guns and you're like hey there that looks familiar yeah yeah the uh on the m13 in the game you have a 300 blackout option for your for what caliber you're shooting and on those it has a red marker band that says 300 black which you know is one of those <laughs> little things that we've been we've kind of been known for you know yeah. video games will never say hey this is the facts and yeah. marker bands but it's just a little fun interesting yeah, especially thing. considering ours are red too yeah you know, yeah exactly blackout. all right so the game today is i'm going to uh tell pat the name of the gun as it appears in Warzone, and then he's going to do his best to tell me uh what it's actually based on so i know that there are uh and i'm I basically stopped first person shooters at uh, Nintendo 64 Golden okay. Eye. Okay, so I know so that recent. there are different. Yeah, very recent. <laughs> uh, so I know that there are some like different like loadout options, right? So yeah. like there could be like, oh, well, technically this one has three options that you could have with it. <laughs> I don't know though. So I'm just going off the base ones, or at least what the internet tells me right. are the base ones. So would you like to start with handguns, submachine guns, shotguns, assault rifles, marksman rifles, sniper rifles? Or light machine guns. Ooh. Let's do submachine guns. Submachine guns. Okay. All right. In Warzone, this one is called the P90. What is it based on? The FNP90. The FNP90. TR, which means you get the cheering noise. <laughs> this is something we were talking about before recording. Like some of them keep a lot of the model names and some don't. Yeah. The, you yeah know, some, some of them are pretty obvious. Some are pretty obvious. Some just kind of like mismatch around or they'll, they'll flip things. That's obnoxious. That was long. Uh, they'll, they'll flip flop things around. All right. Let's see. Let's talk about how about the Striker 45? Ooh, that's the uh, LWRC. 45 SMG. Okay, I'll take it. It says LWRX. But yeah, that's not a real company. Okay. It's LWRC. Ooh. That website failed. Ooh, website failed. I'll take it. Very good. All right. How about the AUG? That's the Steyr AUG. Pretty straightforward. Doing pretty good. All right, let's move to some shotguns. What is the hmm, 725? Ooh, I actually don't know uh, what that's based on. I mean, it's an over-under shotgun, but I don't know if it's like a Browning or something like that. You got it. Browning Satori. Ooh, 725. Nice. Very nice. How about the <laughs> Model 680? 680. Might be based off a uh, Remington 870. That's Ooh. correct. Based off the Remington 870 MCS, 
All right, let's go to the assault rifles. All right. What is the Odin? I don't know what the Odin's based off of. Okay, you're going to make fun of me. Okay. Is it the Ash 12.7 or ASH 12.7? I don't know. That's kind of like an obscure caliber, so I don't know enough about it. I'll give that for me for not knowing, not doing my research. All right, how about the M4A1? Uh, It's based off the Colt M4. Yeah, Colt uh, model 933. Very good. All right. Let's see. Let's see if there's something else a little more tricky. How about in light machine guns? What is the M91 based on? Ooh. Is that a saw? FN saw? A 249? No. It is. Do you have a second guess? No. It's the H&K MG5. Oh. H&K MG5. I don't don't use that one in the game. (laughs) All right. How about, let's go to some handguns. Uh, What about the 50GS? Ooh, that's a classic Desert Eagle 50. You got that Deagle. Deagle, Deagle. All right. How about the X-16? That is a Glock 21. Very good. And I think it also says here there are options for 18 and 34 style loadouts. Yeah, you can do like different 9 mil configurations. Gotcha. And then this one was kind of weird. And so I'm curious if if you'll get it, because we were talking about this before, like some of these that are like old names that the patents have come Mm -hmm. off on. They still have to model it after a particular gun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a particular build. So what do you think the 1911 and Call of Duty War or Warzone is based off of here or Modern Warfare? Um, It's got a little bit of a look of like one of the Kimbers. That's oh. right. But I mean, it's, it's, yeah. Very it's good. A, it's a 1911. How about, More modern, I guess. How about the uh, M19? M19 is the SIG 320 or the M17 or M18. Very nice. How about the 357? And it said there's two options on this one. 357. I don't know if they went like Colt Python or if they went like uh, Smith & Wesson, like 686 or like a 660. Okay, I'll, one of the I'll give that to you. It says Colt Anaconda. Okay. Uh, or the Smith & Wesson Model 581. Oh, I guess the Python's in 44, I think. There you go. My goodness. All right. Well, let's see. This this will be – this. some of these should be pretty easy because the names are pretty much right there. Uh, what is the 98K in the Marksman Rifles? Well, that's a car 98. That's right. How about the EBR-14? This is M14. All right, how about the, this one doesn't have the name in the title, MK2 Carbine? Oh, I don't know. It's a I'll lever a action. Hint. I'll give you a hint. Yeah. Uh, they are now part of Ruger. Oh, so it's a Mar- It's based off of Marlin. <laughs> Mar- I knew it was a lever action. Yeah, Marlin Off- Model 1895. Fun gun in real life to shoot. Yeah. Awful in the game. Really? Awful in the game. <laughs> the bullets don't even work in the game. All right. Here's here's one that'll be uh, uh, nice and easy for you. Uh, the AX-50. Ooh, that's the uh, it's the Ac- Accuracy International 50. That's right. And then the HDR is just the HDR. HDR There's nothing yeah, there. Yeah. All right. Some of these, let's see. How about the Holger 26 light machine gun? I don't know what that's based off of. I think it's a uh, some type of HK, but I don't know the model. Yep, you're right. HK G36 okay. is what it is based off of. Uh, did I ask you about the M13? M13 is the uh, SIG MCX. That's the one that features our magazine marker bands. Oh, yeah. Very nice. All right. Hmm. Let's pick one more. How about the Kilo 141? That is a HK, I think a 433. HK 433. 433. Very nice. Holy crap, man. I don't even know what else to give you. That's basically it. Because some of these have the names in them. Yeah. But what what's like one of your favorite from each category? Like, what's your favorite handgun to use? I don't. You don't use handguns. You only <laughs> use it like when you when you land initially. You, gotcha. Everyone 
starts the game off with the uh the Glock 21. Okay. But uh after that, if I had to use one, it'd be like the Renetti, okay. which is kind of like the uh three round burst like Beretta M9 gotcha. type setup. Gotcha. But uh I'm uh I use a lot. I like the PKM. Okay. I like the big belt feds. Uh I use the car ninety eight or the HDR to snipe. Yeah. A little bit of kilo, sometimes the M13. I'm all over the place. A little bit of kilo. Yeah. You know. Oh my gosh. Well, that's fun. We're gonna have to do something else with games here soon. But this is this is like a whole other world for me. Like if you <laughs> if you were to sit here and, and tell me like, all right, in GoldenEye, what was the PPK? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, ooh, ooh, the Walther. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'd be able to be with that. What about the Golden Gun? Uh, yeah. The cult. <laughs> um, anyway, so if uh, you want to get into some more game stuff, back at the very beginning of quarantine, we did an episode that was our top ten first person shooter games. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. And and uh, we had the honorable mention of Duck Hunt for Jay. Yeah. Uh, since technically first person shooter, I suppose. So you could yeah. go back to early, like episode seven, I yeah. think is, is what that guy is. So, well, Pat, thanks for playing. Yeah. Another ringer on the game show. Don't forget to check out all of the uh, Black Friday deals that are going on today. Uh, and we have those uh, builder sets, both the Black Multicam and the OD Green sets plus the 30% off coupon for 224 Valkyrie Barrels. Again, that is uh, BF2020. And uh, we're rounding out uh, the end of part one of the Sportsman giveaway. Uh, so yep. if you haven't entered that yet, uh, tons of great stuff. The custom 350 Legend, the uh, muzzle loader from Thompson Center, stuff from Bison Coolers and Scentlock and Hornady and Schrade and Crimson mm -hmm. Trace and Rocky Boots and just all over the place. So if you haven't entered, you can do that while you're shopping at uh, factsandfirearms.com. Yeah. For those of you who have been watching the podcast for a while, you may know that uh, we had Ryan Donahue from Crimson Trace on for one of our episodes to talk all things optics and red dots and some of the exciting things that CT has coming up. But I just wanted to share one of my personal favorite products of theirs, and that is their Railmaster Pro, the CMR204. So not only is it a tactical light, it's also a laser, and it has all of the industry proven technology that Crimson Trace has been known for for so many years. But they're not just limited to things like lights and lasers. They've made a big splash in the electro optics game, whether it's looking at something like a traditional rifle scope or maybe even their new battle optic which you may or may not have seen in some tv shows and movies recently they have a lot to offer so obviously you're going to be seeing some more stuff uh, of crimson trace popping up with us here at facts and firearms you may have even seen it uh staged on our limited edition mustang rifle that came out in the spring of 2020 again lots of cool stuff from them just like the cmr 204 or anything in their rail masters series we would encourage you to check them out at crimsontrace.com we hope you enjoyed this week's episode and we hope you can make use of uh, those Black Friday deals. So if you're interested in the 224 Valkyrie barrels or those custom builder sets that we partnered with One Off Coating on, uh, make sure you go shop factsandfirearms.com. While you're there, go to the blog page and click on episode 43 to get entered in the Condition One Cases giveaway from Jay's World of Eats and uh, the Sportsman giveaway. The last couple of days on that are uh, drawing near to us, so make sure you get your daily entry in at factsandfirearms.com as well. As always, we would love to hear from you. If you have questions or comments for the show, things you want to get answered on air, please email us at podcast at factsandfirearms.com. As always, we would love for you to subscribe to the show on your favorite platform, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, Pandora, wherever you like to get your shows. We'd love for you to subscribe, rate the show, and share it with a friend. Thanks again for joining us. We hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving, and we look forward to seeing you next week. We want to extend our deepest gratitude to military, police, first responders, and more by saying thank you with special pricing and discounts on all facts and products. Here's how you get started. First, you'll head on over to our website, factsandfirearms.com. From there, you'll want to click Support and Guardian Purchase Program in the dropdown. Then you'll see the instructions on how to get started, so let's just walk through those. First, you'll want to register for an account on our website. If you've already bought something from us on our website before, then this part's already taken care of. 
Second, you'll want to send a copy of your credentials or some reasonable verification of affiliation to customer service at factionfirearms.com. We get a lot of emails where people are like, hey, will this count? Will this ID count? Will this VA card count? Chances are, yes, a lot of them will count, but make sure you attach an image or a copy of that verification to the email before you even ask customer service. That way they can expedite the process for you. As soon as the account has been created or updated, we will send you an email letting you know that you're ready to go. The discount will be available anytime online when you go to your shopping cart. If you have any more questions, please email customer service at faxandfirearms.com.